Well, I was planning to make such type of a video from so long, like when I did the seven ways to find great deals on book type of a video last year, I was planning to make such type of video and uh, I promised a couple of people like I'll be doing such type of video in Jan or Feb, but it got delayed. And in my previous life, someone actually asked me how to like find or differentiate pirated books from the original ones. So I thought it's the perfect time. Let's come up with such a video. So in this one, I'll be telling you five ways that you can have in your life. You can like use and find those pirated books and can differentiate them from the original. So watch this video till the end and let's roll the intro first and then I'll start with this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my new video. I hope everyone's doing absolutely fine. For those who know my channel, I'm Devam and you will find book reviews, unboxings, vlogs, and a lot many other fun stuff related to books and fandom. So if you're in that kind of stuff, you can hit the subscribe button and now let's start with this video. So a few weeks back, I did a live session and someone asked me if I ever encountered any kind of a pirated book in my life. So that was just one. And I also said in that video as well. So that was a two killer mockingbird by Harper Lee. So this is the book that I got in my early days of reading. And I got it from Darya Ganj book market, like from one of the footpath sellers. So I never realized this is a pirated copy, like uh, even after reading it and keeping it for more than like uh, one and a half or two years. I later realized when I was clicking one bookstagram pick that this was a pirated copy. So yeah, it wasn't deliberate, but I got it anyhow. Like I was new to reading and never used to distinguish like pirated books from original ones. So I got it later. I like realized and encountered few points that I that comes in handy for me while purchasing those books from online and offline seller and I keep and use them. So I have five points with me that I think will help you in distinguishing those pirated books from the original ones. So in each pointer, I'll be sharing my own experience. If I ever encountered anything of such type of that type, I'll be discussing that. So we'll be starting with the list now. And the first point is related to size and quality. So why I'm saying size and quality together. So there's a reason behind it because these two pointers are interconnected because majority of the signs when I've seen such type of pirated books in market, one of the things came in like in front of my eyes is that the size of the books, the pirated books, is usually small now not i'm i'm not saying that they are necessarily mass market paperbacks but what i have seen is like the normal paperbacks are of this size but uh, if someone is making pirated of pirated copies of the same the size will reduced will get reduced and i've seen it with my own eyes on those like at those like footpath sellers those who sell books so if you ever get any kind of a book from offline or online seller do check the size on Amazon, like you will find all the LBH that is length, breadth and height on Amazon in the description of each book. So just go over there and check the size of the book and see if the book is of the correct measurement that you have purchased. If it is, then the chances are pretty high that the book is not pirated. And I, have, I do that all the time. Like, uh, I know it sounds weird, like uh, keeping a scale with you ready to like uh, do a scaling of the books, but it comes in handy to find those pirated books and why i stated like the quality point because when you are getting paperbacks sometimes you will get pirated books of the same size so what you can do is you can check the quality of the same like inside the book if you are finding the ink is fading the pages are missing the spine is not like aligned that can be the probable reasons for any kind of a pirated book now the book i am having with me is two kilo mockingbird by Harper lee now i know this is a mass market paperback and they are usually as i've said is small so it becomes really tough in mass market paperbacks to know if the book is original or not because the size of the book is anyway short and like small so what you can do again as i've said and check the pages quality because majority of the times new and original mass market paperbacks also have that morning paper kind of feel like the paper is pretty thin like in my fountainet copy or be it like way of kings that i own i have shown you in my stormlight video as well so in that kind of books the paper is quality is thin so it becomes really difficult to know if the book is original or not so fading ink misprinting and all those things usually help in mass market for me this was the reasons to find this book that is pirated because the alignment was here was not perfect and i later realized that this was a pirated one so the next point is related to cover and that will i'll give the reasons in relation to this book as well so the second point is related to cover of the book so yes, you can find like pirated books with the help of their cover because most of the times pirated books have some dull cover or the ink is fading on those covers. You can 
see the roughness on the cover when the, a pirated book is there in the market so that can be one of those factors that you can take into consideration while getting any kind of a book and the other thing is related to like Amish Tripathi is one of those authors whose books usually get pirated on a large scale because they sell like hotcakes that goes with the, all the other like Indian authors here in India for example like Chetan Bhagat and Harry Potter books as well so these are the books that goes into piracy on a large scale so for this kind of a books what you can do is you can check inside of the cover so you can check like a mystery party's portrait is in there so majority of the times in a mystery party books you will not find like in pirated ones you will find this pledge like blank now again this can't like really go ahead with the go well with all the books that are there in the market because majority of the time books are like the back of the cover is like blank but this can be one of those reasons you can have to find those book covers so yeah this is one of those other things and one more point related to cover is that you can see the font over here font on the covers is like engraved like punched from this side and they are a little outside the book now I'm, I can't really like explain it in much clearer terms but uh, you will find like Amish Tripathi's name in his latest books is a little engraved and it's punched from inside to the outside so you can feel that so majority of the times you will not find the same in pirated books and that can be one of those reasons that the book is pirated so yeah these are a few, um, few of the main things like the dull cover the cover having like dirt and all those things engraved names engraved name of the book engraved name of the author the spine the spine as i've said in the previous point as well if it is not aligned so that can be a few things or inside the cover as you can see here and at the end as well here it is having this map so one of the things that i found in two killer mockingbird cover that was different from the original was that this sticker as you can see is the 50th anniversary edition so this was the sticker that i saw on amazon reviews and saw that that was engraved like it was glossy and uh, it had that aluminium feel to it so this was the sticker here on my book which was different and i that's how i actually found like this book was not original so yeah this was one of those things you can look up to on covers and all those things and more detail i'll say in the further points like how you can distinguish these covers from the others this was a famous book that why that is why i found those amazon reviews those pictures that i could compare it with but that's not the case with every other book so i'll tell you in the later points but yeah that is one of those things you can check on covers so let's jump to the third point and see what i have with me so for the third point i had to get all these books with me in this video so one of the pointers to get to know those pirated books from the original ones is to look for marks that are like holograms or maybe the marks that publishers put on their books when to mark their authenticity so a few of the marks as you can see here this is a book by hatchet so you can see the hologram sticker of i hope it's visible so that's hatchet like it'll reflect in light so that was one of those things in hatchet books that you can look up to to see if the book is original or not in pirated books you will not find such type of stickers same goes with pan macmillan you can check the sticker here and there's price on it as well so that goes with majority of the other books as well like they are usually a sticker on them and that with the help of that you can actually find if the book is original or not now i haven't actually seen hard covers going into pirated press but i have seen paperbacks and mass market go on a wider range like in masses so anyway i'm showing you i'm showing you like these hard covers because of those marks like for harper collins you will find this kind of a like sticker which says harper collins and price again this is one of those things you can look up to to see if the book is original or not again this is hatchet majority of the times in the books by hatchet you will find such type of stickers here in india there's a hologram one was i believe that was printed outside india that's the reason it was like here but majority of the times you will find such type of a sticker on hatchet books so yeah look for these type of stickers on books because they marks their authenticity i have seen them on majority of my books like not always you will find one i believe there's one yeah there's one one over here as well so in majority of my books there's one sticker at the back by the publisher now i'm not sure if they put it on every other book but uh, this is one of those things you can look up to to find those pirated books and i haven't actually seen this type of stickers in westland and penguin now these are two publication house who like publishes indian authors on a large scale now indian authors are the ones that are 
like pirated in our market in our indian market a lot so i hope they start putting those stickers westland and penguin very soon but i hope they start looking up to these kind of stickers but other publishers are doing it harper collins be it hatchet be it pan mac million so yeah that was one of the other points that i wanted to share this information with you all so let's jump to the next one the fourth point is pretty basic one and that is to get those books from verified seller or verified bookstores now verified bookstores are nothing but like crossword be it oxford be it barison booksellers like barison booksellers i recently went and made a vlog as well so if you haven't checked that vlog you will find the link in the description box below so these are the bookstores that usually keep those original copies and you will find authentic books with them there's a plus point in getting books from them because you will get original books but the minus point is that the price range like price is pretty high when you go to such type of bookstores you will find much better deals on amazon and flipkart so talking about those online verified sellers so i have never faced i live in delhi like it's a metro city and i never faced any kind of problem from these type of sellers like be it prime sellers or be it assured sellers that is on flipkart so i never faced any kind of problems with prime or assured sellers but i've seen people and i've heard that people received like pirated books from these type of sellers so what you can do is you can like trust a few sellers on amazon like there are uret cloud tail or be it repros books on demand and amazing buy so these are the four sellers i have purchased books i have purchased so many books from these four sellers i think majority of them are from cloud tail sellers so i never encountered any kind of a problem though quality is another thing but i never encountered pirated kind of things piracy kind of things with these sellers so you can trust them if you ever encountered any kind of a problem with these type of sellers do let me know in the comment section below i'll keep a track of it so for flipkart you can purchase from i think the name was npsr retail that was the seller name and then comes truecom retail that is like a big seller who actually gives to a lot many discounts so these are a couple of sellers or maybe amazing buy again on flipkart now there are other prime sellers as well but i wouldn't recommend you to go with them even if they are having good ratings because uh, i never trusted them i never like got any books other than a few sellers for second hand i have trusted like deal star and the couple of times i had good deals with them then i have trusted book cop for john guines books and that was a good seller but i never seen that seller after that day after last june so there are few sellers that i have tried but i wouldn't recommend you to go for them i would recommend you to go with the sellers that i named many people think that they are getting a cheap books they are getting books on a discount that means they are getting pirated books but that's not the case like my first video on this channel was related to flipkart book haul and i got like books for 100 70 or maybe 60 bucks that can be a different scenario when you are going to offline market like i got that uh, to kill a mockingbird and that was like for 80 bucks and i got fooled by the sellers can happen but i haven't actually seen much concerns with such type of sellers on online like on amazon and flipkart if they are from the sellers that i have named previously so do trust those seller for cheap books if you want to i never encountered any problem with any kind of cheap books so yeah that was the point for in this video so we are left with the fifth one so the fifth point is pretty big like video unboxing flip through Amazon reviews, Amazon pictures, and then comes I think online threads. Though I'm not exactly sure what I'll name this point, but let's discuss all the things that I'm having with me in the fifth point. So what I recommend you to all, like you all, to check those video unboxings that you'll find on YouTube, like I did for Game of Thrones pop-up guide to Westeros, and I also did one for like Marvel first ten years. So flip through actually helps in like getting to know more about the book to see. what's all in inside the book and you can actually get a fair idea what you will receive so i'll recommend you to check those like flip through videos if you are getting a book that is priced on a higher end because uh, spending too much on special editions be it collectors edition be it uh, illustrated edition so i would recommend you to go for those videos because why i'm saying collectors edition and all those pricey books because cheap books are not as like cheap books are not uh, unboxed on camera a lot many times like you will not find books like uh, maybe good omens on like camera someone unboxing it but if you find like do search for them but if you don't find them go to amazon to check those pics but uh, you will find like famous books on youtube that people are unboxing you check those videos because you will get a fair idea what you have to receive and then when you receive the book you can compare and you can you have a benchmark with you you can like compare it with that benchmark to see if you receive the same product or not if you receive the same quality or not so that is one of those things you can keep in mind other thing as i have said like for the cheap books the books that are priced like 200 300 you will not find unboxing videos for the same 
So I would recommend you to go to Amazon to see those pictures, to compare those pictures with your book, to see if you received the original one or not. So that can actually help, but you can't really do that with the new books that are recently released because there are not enough reviews for the same. There's not enough like uh, pictures for the same. So for that, you just go to Instagram and check with those hashtag and name the name of the book. You will find the pictures, like n number of pictures in relation to that book. So you can compare the books with the same. So even if you don't get like insiders pictures or insiders like information related to that book you can comment down below on that any any of the post of any of the bookstagrammer or you can dm them like asking them to get a few pictures of their books or maybe get a few details so that can actually come like real handy mm -hmm. and the final one is like checking reddit and quora threads now i don't know i I'm not exactly sure about Quora threads related to books, but I've seen quite often on Reddit. But just you need to type your query and then write Reddit in front of it. You will definitely find one of those like post on Reddit. So that actually helps because then you can actually ask anything related to your book. You can just leave a question over there or maybe if there's an existing question, you can add a comment over there asking anyone else with the same copy with the same book to know more about the same that they can actually help you that's what i want to say so that was the point that i wanted to discuss that actually comes in handy for me that actually helps me a lot and that is i'm sharing with my own experience like uh, these five pointers will definitely help the size one is the one that i majority of the times follow and it actually comes in handy for me the cover one is pretty tough i don't think you will find much information on the same like on cover and all those things like for a mystery party i've shown you inside you will find a mystery party specs and all those things but uh, that's pretty tough to like know if the book is original or not but third comes those authentic marks that can actually help because uh, majority of the major publication houses are having those marks so that means the authenticity of their books so third one is pretty important fourth one is again is important like verified sellers but again some people are getting like pirated books from those verified sellers as well so you can you need to like keep all those points all the previous points in mind even after getting those books from verified sellers and the final one as i've said is <laughs> seeing those unboxing videos seeing those reviews seeing reddit and quora threads and checking those bookstagram pictures or maybe bookstagrammers it's like i have these 270 kind of books 270 i think 270 plus books on my bookshelf if you ever want to know anything about any of these editions do like uh, just dm me over my instagram i'll surely reply sometimes i take a little bit more time but i'll surely reply so that was all for this video i hope you liked it these were the five points that i discussed that as i've said at the start of this video like i'm not expert on this topic i just encountered one pirated books in my entire life so i just shared my experience what i do after receiving such kind of books after receiving online books offline books so i just wanted to share it with you all so that was all for this video i did a similar kind of video related to seven great deals how to find great deals on books i did that video last year do check it out you'll find the link up here so do follow me over my social media handles are here and we'll be catching up real soon that was all for this video five ways to distinguish pirated books from the original ones so bye bye and stay healthy stay home stay safe and bye